we're in the shop today and I've got a project that I've got a wild hair on. We don't really have a good metal sheet metal rack. And so what we're gonna do, I wanna show you. Uh, we got all these big pieces of sheet metal and we are going to make this rack. Got some big six inch casters coming. Each of those casters that we've got coming are gonna be six inches in diameter and they'll hold 8,000 pounds amongst the four of them. So we've got some uh, piece of 3 16 plate, some random drops of tube that we're gonna weld together. I'll make a structure under here to kind of support this up a little bit. But then I've got some inch and a quarter by eighth inch tube that we'll use to make a divider. And then we'll be able to put all this sheet metal in on there. So we've got lots of sheet. And I used to ha just store them up against this wall, but I think I want to move the CNC to here. And then I'll have this rack positioned in a way either on this side or on that side that we can use to hold our all our sheet metal in. And maybe some racks will be for random drops other racks will be for full sheets. So yeah, that's the beginning of this project. And we'll uh, see how long it takes us. Um, kind of have to wait two weeks for casters, so we'll get the mainframe going and then we'll, we'll show you as we go. All right, so this is our tubing setup. I'm trying to keep it nice and square. We got our classic butt joint here, open root. Here's our settings. Perfect settings for this China weld. It's tacked together now. Uh, nice gap, beveled edge, and we're gonna weld it up. All welded up, uh, nice below flush welds. That's where I want it to be. And uh, I'll show you a nice quick up close, nice and low, that's good. Now we're gonna take a grinder, just like we do in class, and we're gonna grind down that top of the weld to get a little bit of uh, penetration on flux cord. So we're gonna switch our welder over. Those are my settings for my flux cord wire. And there's my slagged up welds. We'll chip those here in a second. I'm gonna roll this over. Yeah, all right, scrape it right off. That's what I love about flux. It just so effortlessly comes off with my best chipping hammer ever, right? So here's a quick layout of how everything's now been tacked together after it's been cut. Now we're going to get some welds on it, I'll show you some up close kind of pano around. And now we've got our cross supports down in there. It's some uh, 3 inch angle iron, uh, 3 16 thick, already uh, tacked into place. So here we have my mock up on my 3D CAD model. I just wanted to make sure that my casters would fit on this gusset, so I drew it all up, made sure my spacing was good, made my DXF cutting path template, transferred it over to the plasma, and it just zips it out real real quick. There's it's following the G code, all that computer stuff. Nothing to see here, just drilling. Now I'm tapping these holes and it's getting real tough. Gonna have to use some leverage. There we go. And when you know it, too much leverage. Busted the tap wrench. Garbage. Onto the ratchet. Putting these together wasn't overly complicated. I just needed to make sure I had a left side and a right side. Getting these lined up and using the plate itself as a spacer so that the joint I get to weld is an outside corner joint. Awesome weld joint, great penetration. It's gonna be super solid when it's done. So I'm just gonna tack these together, get them fit up, get them welded on.
getting hot. Uh, I have just been slaying some flux cord wire. Um, I really hope I can figure out how to do some welding arc shots and do some video on flux cord. It's awesome, super fast, super efficient, super reliable. All right, gets really good uh, weld penetration. So I'll show you the project. And wouldn't you know, I ran out. I slayed that spool on some of those. I still got some slag on some, but others have peeled up and lo and behold, that's a vertical up. Come on, where's my chipping hammer? There we go. finish welding these little gussets back up. Just need to do the tail end. Right there. Oh yeah. Those are looking good. Smooth. Little mess up right there. Tie into a nice... Oh, that one's not so good. So, uh, yeah, this metal cart is coming along. Casters are in. Oh yeah, casters. Those are some casters. About the size of my hand. Weight capacity is 8,000 pounds total, 2,000 pounds each. We will bolt those on from underneath, grind the nuts down flush. Ooh, yum. All right, look at that. Casters are on this behemoth. And uh, these are all going to get chopped off. Then I'm probably just going to plug weld on top because I don't want them to come off. But if I do need to come off, I want to be able to drill through a little bit and loosen them up. And then we'll, yeah, we'll get them off. But anyway, we don't need them off right now. We want them on. I need a weld up. Big long weld. Groove that out. Weld it up and then make it smooth. Four sides. Just like in class. Mmm, yep, ready to go. Stick a fork in it. Just weld it up. All right, so we're done. And uh, next thing to do, oh, let's take a nap oh, on this nice hard bed. So we got to cut uh, the square tubing I'm going to use for the dividers. And uh, those will get spaced out according to the plan that we had drawn on the floor and is now erased. It's a good thing I took a picture of it, right? All right, so when I line this up, again, I got my V, but I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna lean way over. I'm gonna take a look right down that blade. And you can see the edge of my, my mark. It's right there. And that is parallel or in line with this edge of the blade. And then this is my waist side 
and then my kerf will land right, right on my mark. I think we're done.